How the hell have you put that trailer on the forklift, man? Hey, that's got nothing to do with me, mate. I didn't put it there. Hey, welcome back, everybody. How's everybody's week been? Uh, today, we've got a new job on. And we're going to be travelling from Southampton, where we finished our last journey, from Manchester. And we're taking 21 tonnes of panelling to Cambridge. It's a journey of about 170,000... 170,000 miles, I don't think so. It's a journey of about 170 miles and pays us a king's ransom of £4,278. So, if this is your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification for any further videos, and can I get five likes on this video? Your support is greatly appreciated. But be sure to check out my other playlist that I've got, which is my FSX FS Economy. If you're into planes and my American truck simulator. So what are these videos Get about? Turn left. Right, the aim is that I can't travel turn left. between two points on the map faster than 80 miles per hour. At this moment in time I'm just concentrating on the UK because the journeys are short and I don't want the videos to be too long because then if I do five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred Ks then I'm going to have to split it into two or three videos. But we'll just Get keep them nice and short for the time being until I start building the company up and getting a couple of drivers in. So as my company gets bigger, then I'll start venturing further into Europe. So what's been going on recently? So there's been an update on Euro Truck, which is version 1.35. And what's been included in that. Now some of the roads. Especially in Germany. And on the Vivo France DLC. The A10, A6, A6, N4. They've all been updated. Sardinia has been added to the Italia DLC. And there's new signage on the Scandinavia DLC. Now I've not been into any of these countries yet. Or I've not seen these modifications. But no doubts. We will do when we get a bit further well there's also been new special transport routes added between Plymouth and Dover Verona and Parma which is on the Italia DLC Dents and Herschel's which is in Scandinavia DLC Bore and Helsinki which is beyond the Baltic Sea Krakow to Bankster, Bankska, Bankska, Bistlicia, which Turn is on left. the going east, which first DLC that was released. Euro truck. Between Toulouse and Montpellier, which is on the Viva la France DLC. And also St. Petersburg to St. Petersburg, which is again on the Beyond the Baltic Sea DLCs. You have to excuse the squeaky chair. also been updated trailers in the containers and logging there's also new trailers in the external contract mode new feature in dual localization of place names on the main map this can be found in the options as a language drop down menu and selecting a second language now what that is it's what's if English is your main language left, you'll have all your map in English left. If Polish is your main language, you can add Turn left. Polish and it comes up above the English name or Chinese, Romanian, Russian, Scottish, Welsh. So that's that's a good idea, yeah. Um you're now able to purchase and upgrade garages in the online mode of the simulation which was you used to be able to do it with the trucks once you'd keep left and then continue straight on a certain amount of trucks you was able to purchase them online you didn't need to visit the dealers go straight now what they've done is they've started to do that with the garages which is a better thing it means that you don't have to travel to the town and then you start your journey from that tone again. 
knowing a lot of people that are doing career modes um, you do one video you stay at one town you make your delivery but then if you want to purchase another garage in another town you've got to travel back to that town which means your truck travels with you to that town and start again from the which is, it's a lot better to me it makes it a lot easier, it makes the game more, um, how can I put it, realistic. So like I say, it's just the same as if you're visiting a truck dealer. But you've still got to discover these garages also there's been truck and trailer configuration that's also been added it's a good thing if you've got all the same trucks in your fleet but it's not if you've got different trucks because if you've got one paint job for a certain truck and all those are in your fleet unless you've got a modded paint job You can't have the same paint job on all your trucks. Well, let's just say you have a Volvo fleet, and then you start getting a few Scanias in there, or a few Mercedes, unless that paint job is in your um, upgrades. You can't have all the same jobs. You can't have all the same paint job on all your trucks which I think is something that um, SCS should look into because it makes it a lot tidier you know it should be explored by SCS on um, further upgrades yeah there's now an emergency refueling system which is a great feature uh, that means that if you run out of fuel on your journey instead of having to get the service to tow you to the nearest service to the nearest garage they will just put a small amount they'll come out and they'll put a small amount of fuel in your truck which will be enough to get you to the next service the next garage next fuel station and this can be activated by pressing S7 on the service tab, pressing enter and selecting the emergency refueling which is number two. That, that's that's a good that's a good feature that they've implemented. So you're also now available to adjust any purchased trailers that you buy without having to visit the service centre in the same way as refueling. Press S7 enter and then number 3 and th you can choose the configuration of your trailer what you want. But I think the best feature what they brought out on this update is the voice navigation. It's like having a real sat nav in your truck as you would have in your car and it is in whichever language is your preference like my main language is English so I have English it also has US and various other languages which is to your liking. I don't think I'd be able to follow instructions in Chinese. But I do believe that there are mods out there where you can change voice on SatNav. I've seen a couple of videos where this is been 
Go straight where on. different vices have been used. One is um, James May. Um, I've seen him on live stream of Mark Armstrong. Oh well, yeah, the SCS have done some good things. There's a new DLC coming out in back end of this year, which is Beyond the Black Sea, which is a new DLC, which um, puts in Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, and the Trakia region of Turkey. More stricter border crossings on it. Between uh, Bulgaria and Turkey. As it is in real life as well. I believe there's more rural routes on Viva La France, which is rural roads and villages. So we just need to get these keep going. These updates. Like I said, um, I'd like to see when instead of having you know, just your tyres and your chassis um, your engine what I want to see from SCS is a more detailed breakdown itinerary you know uh, where it could be your carburetor that's gone your starter motor your alternator your battery's flat Spark plugs and he's changing. Um, the damage on the truck. If you're involved in a shunt with another car or another truck, if you go to an Keep external left. view, you have a damaged headlight, a damaged radiator grill, damaged windscreen. Go straight on. I think that in real, as in real life. On your truck, if your tyres get so badly worn, you can experience blowouts. Which happens in real life. Um, brake seizures on your trailers. Uh, the lines breaking. That connect your electricity and your air to your trailer. You know, a bit more in-depth. But when you have to go to the service... It's not just those what you're dealing with. I think that's something that they could look into. Well, I know it's been a it's been a, a bit of a while Keep since I've right, posted a video. And then continue straight on. Um, uh, been a bit hectic. Go straight on. Life carries on. I do have a I do have a daily life. I can't put content out as often as I'd like to, but I do have videos that are ready to be done. So I'll join you on our journey. We're currently on the M25. We've got 84 miles to go. I've went at 30 miles per hour. Right, and sometimes we've got cars overtaking us on the left. They're undertaking us, which uh, British motorways is illegal. You couldn't be hogging lane two. On the M25 round this area, usually a lot busier than this. Even worse when it's burning. Is game. I've been round the M25 at its busiest points, it's the busiest times. Believe me, it's not a pleasant place to be. I feel sorry for all those commuters that have to 
drive around it every day. Not due to come off until we hit M11. We're only 25 miles away. Problem with this. Problem with these motorways on a road truck was from three lanes to two lanes. Keep right, whereas and then continue straight on. As people know in real life, it doesn't happen. It's three lanes, and then they have a slip road Go straight that on. comes off. It never changes. Also, in some points on the M25, there is four four lanes down near the airport. I think. It's a long time since I've been down there. A good six or seven years. There's about I've got about another I'll jump before I come off. Towards Cambridge. When I was doing my deliveries, this was where I, I used to work around this area. Outskirts of and Cambridgeshire. Lincolnshire and Buckinghamshire. Keep right and then continue straight on. Long days used to uh, go four AM start. I'd get home about seven o'clock at night. Didn't have much of a social life back then. Okay, so get home. Have something to eat, have a shower, go to bed, get ready for the next morning. That for about eight months. Look at a strain on the relationship that I was in, and I'm still in. Married to the lady now, but it really did take a strain. Coming a long distance. Keep right, and then continue straight on. Ever home. When I was at home, I was, uh... Go straight on. Ready for bed. No good when you've got young kiddies. Stop doing that. Years ago, I think it is. Coming off at this next junction, the M11, 50 miles away. The on the that nav, this is all uncharted territory for my truck. The sat nav when it turns to Keep yellow, left, and then I've continue driven that off. route when it's in grey. Not been on that road. Go straight on. What bed? I once uh, was delivery to finish the delivery, it was about. 4 p.m. I think when I hit the M11 and there'd been worried that I'd gone through the central reservation one side which caused one side of the motorway off 
and then as you travelled a bit further up, was a lorry that had gone through the central reservation. Or did you shut the motorway down completely? <laughs> and it actually took almost 11 hours to reopen the motorway. Accident that bad, uh, there were chemicals involved. It's no fun when you start in a van. I didn't drive a wagon, I drove a van. Start the can't move. Can't get out of your van because you're on a motorway. Or eleven hours. It was quite a nasty accident. When I got back into two thirty in the morning, when I got back into, considering I'd been in work since three a.m. the previous day, so I'd done nearly twenty-four hours. I had to get somebody to come. My route because my van was the only one that went down there, so they had to wait until I got back and loaded the van up straight away. Then the other driver took over, but I hadn't even left the building when the other driver took over. The only backdrop was with that because I was on a zero hour contract. That because I didn't work that day, I didn't get paid through no fault of me on. But I got paid 23 and a half hours for all the time I was out. So, what I lost in one hand, I gained in the other. A few nasty accidents. Never been involved in one myself. Much wood. I still think driving on a motorway is safer than crossing the road. Transporter there. Over to keep us. left. Seventeen miles away. And off at this. What we do? In case. Exit left. Um. Online on. Really looking forward to getting my own trailer and starting to deliver. Turn left. All sorts. Got the got the special transport and the heavy cargo DLC. This. I've not had any jobs yet off it. I'll end up doing one. The other. Miles away, we're not too far off. Only a few minutes off. Still travelling at 30 miles per hour. Absolute uh, journeys. This hundred and seventy mile, this hundred and seventy mile journey. In real life, travelling at fifty six miles an hour should take about take about three hours. 
when you're only doing 30. Nearly. No danger of us being up by the speed camera. Welcome to Cambridge, ladies and gentlemen. Keep right and then turn right. It's got rubble. Turn right. What's that? Flip to the right here. This dirt track. Virginia International Logistics Warehousing. We are finished. Our parking spot. Most difficult one. XP parking spot is straight in front of us. Um, that Pepsi Cola trip. I'll concentrate on reversing it. On the breakdown screen. Well, that's going to be the end of our journey. Um, don't forget, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, give me a thumbs up. Really would like five likes on this video. It helps me out, gets my little channel advertised a bit further afield, than just the UK. YouTube could give some of us little channels a break. It's really difficult to get to that thousand subscriber and the four thousand hour mark. Should be a bit more lenient on it. That's another story. But with that, I'll leave it there. Join me next time on our next journey. And happy trucking. <laughs>